Welcome back friends! If you're new here, my name is Nicole and I love to do DIYs and 3D print. If you're interested, I do have a Patreon where I post behind the scenes footage as well as connect with you guys. Today we're going to be mold making and incorporating silicone rubber to make cool casts. So if that's something that you like, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's make some chocolate! <laughs> Okay guys, so we are going to be making molds today and the stuff that I have here was purchased from Amazon and also Home Depot. So this kit is a Let's Resin silicone rubber kit. I initially thought these bottles were a lot bigger but unfortunately it just came in these little 300 gram bottles. They really get you with the photos on, on Amazon. It's like this big zoomed up picture of a bottle and then it comes this little puny thing. It's okay, I'm not complaining. I'm very thankful. Thank you, Amazon. And it comes with some instructions here, which I may or may not read, but for the sake of this video, let's read it. It says, pour the part A into the plastic cup. Okay. Pour the part B into the plastic cup and mix about five minutes thoroughly. That's a long time. Then it says pour the silicone into the container to cover the top of the item. If you make it too thin, the silicone mold may rip. Okay. So this is what I have here. So this is our first product that we're going to be using. We do have another product that we're going to compare it to and that is... 100% oh 100% uh, silicone and this is for kitchen bath and plumbing but you know what I saw this on YouTube a few people were taking this and mixing it with either soap water or cornstarch and it was just as good as using one of these two-part kits so I was like okay let's test it out there is a bit of a price difference this was definitely like three times more than this. So let's see if it compares. I do have a feeling this will be better just because it will probably have less bubbles and cure faster, but let's give this a shot. Why not, right? The third thing we're gonna test is this Easy Mold Silicone Putty Kit. And I have used this. I am very disappointed of how it turned out. The molds were very poor quality in terms of the detail. So I guess we'll use this as a comparison. But to be honest, it, I wasn't happy. So the whole point of mold making is because I want to cast resin within the molds. And I did get some epoxy. And I got the deep pour casting epoxy resin and there's two parts to this. So part A and part B, just like the little silicone rubber kit that we have. I want to make jewelry, keychains, everything that's kind of trending and revolving around resin, I kind of want to try out for myself. But I want to put my little 3D printing twist to it by making molds of my 3D prints. So I did happen to print a few things out and I'm going to be doing ends. <laughs> Cause like I said, my name is Nicole and I was like, you know what, let's try it out. And if it works, I'm probably gonna make this for my friends and my family and kind of play around with that. That's gonna be shown next week. This week we're going to be testing the molds. So we're gonna see if that works out, but in order to make the molds, we have to take our 3D printed pieces and insert it into the silicone rubber so it cures. And I also 3D printed these rings. This was actually, this little kitty ring was one of my first 3D prints and I actually found it somewhere in my room on the floor and I was like, let's, let's incorporate this as well since it has a little bit of sentimental value to me because it was one of my first prints that I made on the Prusa. 
in March and it's already June and this is a little heart ring that I made not too long ago and it is a little bit big but I just want to use this as a reference and test it out I also made these like little hoops with the 3d printer and I don't think these will work because they're super thin but I wanted to try them out to see if they do make a mold so if I use the resin maybe it'll kind of harden and be capable of baking an earring this might not make sense because it just has like a random hole in it i did get this little kit that has all these little supplies to make jewelry especially necklaces and earrings and i really want to incorporate this i've had this laying around since january let's get started so we're gonna start with the let's resin kit and like I said previously, there is a part A and a part B. So I'm going to grab my little handy dandy scale so I can weigh out equal parts. So the container I'm using is this little sectioned out organizer that I bought from Michaels. And I see on the instructions here that they're using it. So I thought, okay, why not? It's a good idea. It sections out each individual part nicely so you get a nice silicone mold. Let's get going. Okay, so it's been overnight and these have been setting so we're gonna see how they turned out and see which one is better in terms of quality and detail and we're just going to see if I should keep using the silicone rubber or the 100% silicone and from the looks of it initially I see that this has a lot of ridges and it dried up very uneven but looking at this so far this has such a nice uh, besides this little bubble over here um, it has such a nice soft and straight and smooth top I think this one is gonna be more promising because of how little bubbles there are and yeah, but we're gonna see. I have no idea how I'm gonna take this out, but we're gonna attempt it. Yeah, let's see how it goes.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next week with a new video.